Hey guys, Whitney here and welcome to Temple Pros. On today's call, I sat down with our recent grad, Rachel. Now, Rachel's story is something that I think a lot of you can relate to. She was at a crossroads in her life. She was trying to decide what was next for her. She kind of needed to transition to a second career. And she decided that TEFL would be the right fit for her. So if you can relate to that, if you are also perhaps in a time in life where you're thinking about what's next and what direction you should take your life in, sit back, relax, and enjoy hearing Rachel's thoughts on the TEFL Pros Plus course. Hey, Rachel. Hi, Whitney. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Relieved that my course now is completed and the load off my shoulders. So I'm Yay. good now. Now it's like I can oh, relax. <laughs> yes. And congratulations on graduating. Woo. Thank you. <laughs> and I got my certificate in the mail just on Friday. Oh, all righty. Oh, that's yes. awesome. Okay. And on a holiday week. Good job, Postal System. Okay. Um, well, Rachel, thanks so much for just taking some time out of your day and sharing your thoughts with uh, folks out there that are maybe just at the beginning of this process. Um, I would love it if maybe you could start off just sharing a bit about where you were at prior to getting your TEFL. Okay. Well, I would say, okay, so, well, first of all, I'm 58. And so I'm in, I feel right now a new stage in my life where I was, you know, contemplating a new, whole new career because I was self-employed with my ex that we were married for 30 years and now going through a divorce and owned a business with my ex. So, and now that is out so I'm not you know doing that anymore so I had to really think hard okay what am I going to do now right and be self-sufficient on my own as a middle-aged woman divorced you know so I really had to and I went to I was a flight attendant uh, for two years and then the pandemic hit and then I just didn't bother going back because of, you know, there was a lot, it was still, it was hard work and I had to do a lot of traveling. So for me, going back and forth to the airport and being away from home a lot, was it conducive to my lifestyle right now? Anyways, but uh, so then I had to really take an inventory. Okay, well, what have I done in my life? And I've done, well, I've done a lot of tutoring, done a lot of supply teaching in the past, you know, and I have that teaching, uh, uh, nurturing and uh, caring. And uh, I've always enjoyed teaching uh, others. And I thought, well, you know what? Maybe I should work on the skills that I already have accumulated and those talent and work on that. And so then I start thinking, okay, I have a degree uh, in French and I am French and English. So I thought, well, Okay, might as well work with something that I have. And I thought, you know, why not do the, and I've, you know, I start thinking about doing the, te uh, the uh, teaching English as a second language, then started to do my research. And uh, I thought, you know, so I think, you know, it doesn't matter how old you are, life is a continuous learning process and it's never too late to start something new or go back to school <laughs> absolutely right. you you've had classmates that were decades older than you <laughs> so <laughs> like yeah so decades I, older than you yeah. yeah that's good so but you know there's always those doubts you always you know wonder oh am not too old for this am I, you know and it's like no so I just dove into it and say no this is what I'm going to do now this will be my second career and, um, and there's so many, I think, opportunities out there, you know, Absolutely. especially with in Canada, living in Canada, there's so many immigrants coming in, They're, you know, want immigrants to come in Canada and because there's such a labor shortage and they're probably wanting to learn this, the language, you know, English. And, um, 
and I could also teach French. And I feel that the course that I took gave me the foundation to be able to teach both. Yeah, that's so, wonderful. Yeah, so. once you have that pattern in place, you can utilize it for any language, really. Yeah, exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. So it was basically I was at a crossroad where I had to decide what to do next with my life. And this is what I decided to to do based on, you know, taking an inventory of what I had, what I've done, and also taking into account my personality. And I thought this would be a really good match. Yeah, that's wonderful. It's it's great to hear you kind of step us through that process, Rachel, because I think a lot of people can relate to that, right? Um, no matter their age, you know, you come to these points in your life where it's like, okay, things are shifting. I need to redirect uh, in some way, shape, or form. So what what are my options and, and what would be a good fit for me moving forward? Um, so mm -hmm. once you kind of determined, all right, I think uh, I've got this background in teaching. I'd like to utilize it more. Um, getting temple certified is probably a good choice then for moving forward. Um, what was that research process like? Was there anything in particular that you were looking for um, as you went through that research process? Yes, I did a lot of research and I found that, you know, especially at, you know, my age too, I can get intimidated by a lot of information coming at me and overload. And I found that a lot of the websites, it was very, they were busy, they weren't clear. And then I stumbled onto yours and it just seemed there was something that attracted to me. It was like that it was clear, it was uh, just the way you laid it out. There were, it wasn't confusion, it wasn't overload. It was, and I thought, oh, this is great. And to me, it was something that I was attracted to and especially you know where I was I didn't want something too like you know overwhelming and the way you presented it it was very inviting and very clear and and, and uh, yeah so I that's why I, and then and I like the process where as well once I showed interest in your course that you also arrange a video calling you and me and wanting to know more about me and so I really like that process to sh it shows also that you're really invested in getting to know who you want to, you know to take part of your course so I really and um yeah so I yeah so to me it was just the I was looking for something clear and simple <laughs> yeah yeah hey yeah. that's yeah. And, and as teachers, that's what we hope to do when once we're in the classroom, right? We hope to keep right. things clear and simple and straightforward for our students. Um, so I, I'm glad to hear that the initial uh, process that you went through uh, with us at least had that feeling to it. Um, and then, you know, you made the decision, you got started uh, on the program, Rachel. Uh, any highlights that you'd like to share with others out there just about, uh, going through the, the actual course, um, doing the work, uh, putting in those hours to get certified. <laughs> right. Um, well, definitely you, you give, you allow a really good time frame, you know, because as an adult, you know, I'm working, and I was, you know, pretty busy, and, you know, there's life and all that. So the time frame was good, you know, so I did feel super rushed. I like that it was online as well, because there are courses out there where I had to be on location. So I really like the online process. I love the modules and how they were so, um, again, like clear and just followed a, a very natural process. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the introductory model, you know, about being a teacher. You know, so that's a really good way to start. And so I really like the process of the course. I love how you were always there as well on video to guide us through each module. And I really enjoyed also the modules of watching other teachers teach in Thailand, you know, because I would watch it and I'd say, oh, I would do this differently or, you know, <laughs> you know, oh, I like how he did this or I like how she did that. So, you know, it was really good because I'm also a visual learner. So it was good to see 
you know, being, it's almost like being in the classroom and, and seeing those videos of how other teachers teach and seeing the, you know, being right there in the classroom setting. So that was very helpful. And, um, and I liked also, you know, to do your assignments after each um, module. Your portfolio yeah. assignments. Yeah, portfolio assignments. Yeah. And uh, your little mini quizzes as well. So it really keeps you, you know, uh, engaged and really active and making sure, you know, that you're getting all the information. Um, for me, the course too, that really, what I really enjoyed and which is really important is the lesson planning. And I never gave that as much thought before taking the course. You know, you kind of wonder, okay, I'm going to, teach this and do that and but I really like how you really emphasize on the let you know we really have to be prepared and do the lesson planning and so that's something yeah um, that I, I really enjoy and that's something that's really stood out for me and um, there was another thought that I just thought that I wanted to Day and I, it just kind of flew out there, but the lesson planning. Oh, and also the approach, right? Where okay. it's a student centered approach, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, because sometimes we think, oh, well, I'll teach it, you know, kind of like how I was taught, you know, but, you know, I was taught more of a teacher centered approach, you know, where you just listen and, you know, so you figure, but yeah, things are, and I see it now being a supply teacher, like, you know, the, the things have changed where it's a, a real interaction and students have more of a voice. Mm. And uh, so I really uh, liked uh, learning about that as well. And, yeah, I love that you've had this uh, dual experience, Rachel, where you're on your TEFL course and simultaneous to that, you're going into the classroom three days a week um, as a supply teacher, um, which I think here in America, we would call it a substitute teacher. Is that? Okay, yeah. Yeah, That's same. Um, where you're going in and like filling in for, for other teachers, right? Is that? Mm -hmm. That's what supply yes. teacher, yeah. So, so Rachel has this interesting dynamic, you know, that she's gone through where it's like brushing up on my skills, learning more about lesson planning, classroom management, and then just being, you know, in the trenches uh, three days yes. a week with all different age groups, all different classes. Um, that's just fascinating. All right, because you never know what you're walking into, <laughs> right? on a daily basis it's new every day yeah a bit of that trial by fire you know <laughs> yeah yeah so, so, so Rachel, so classroom management is something i'm really learning to be really good at yes absolutely <laughs> from absolutely. kindergarten to high school oh wow i didn't even realize it was that big of a spread okay yes right. you are getting lots of practice with classroom management in that case <laughs> right absolutely oh yeah. Well, and the um, lesson planning is just basically executing what the teacher has left for me. Yes. You know, I don't plan it sometimes to, um, there was one day actually where they couldn't find the lesson plan because the teacher just didn't get around to doing it. She was really sick, you know, so I had to just spontaneously, luckily it was like uh, a kindergarten, senior K kindergarten, and they had a teacher's assistant there. Mm -hmm. So between her and I, we just, Basically, you know, she was there because she knows the routine, but, you know, we have to go with the flow as well, right? Yeah. And just uh, spontaneously and just create the, the day. Wow. So that's, that's a lot. Um, that's a lot to take on. And I, I think it's really awesome that you've been able to have both of those, uh, you know, experiences simultaneous uh, to each other and, uh, you know, just take time over this past year to uh, not only learn about teaching, but get a whole lot of experience um, being in the classroom. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Rachel, the last thing that I always ask people is if you, you know, had a friend come to you and they're just like, Rachel, I've seen what you've done with your teaching. It looks really awesome. I'm just... I'm on the fence, you know, maybe they're scared mm -hmm. to jump in and try it for themselves. What would be your advice to them? 
Well, it's funny because like my, I have a new boyfriend. <laughs> All of these new things, right? New career, new boyfriend. Uh, and uh, he's been at the same job for 25 years as well. And so he's watching me do this course. And he said, well, please, you know, and we're talking, you know, about future plans, you know, works out. And he said, well, maybe that'd be something I could do when I retire from my job. Right. I said, hey, for sure. I mean, you know, even if you're 65, why not do it? And he's got a degree. And I said, you know, do it because it's something it doesn't matter what age you are. And really, when you retire, uh, it doesn't make, you know, you're not going to stop working. And that's something, especially for us, like if we uh, at this age, it would be nice. Maybe, you know, we're thinking, well, why not go to another country and teach? And, you know, maybe Thailand or South Korea or, you know, there's lots of opportunities and Taiwan or Singapore, right? There's lots of opportunities. So it would be fun to do as well. Oh, oh, my cats are fighting. <laughs> there you go. Um, hey, sorry. Oh, you're fine. But, uh, anyway, so yeah, I would recommend it. Like, it doesn't matter what age you're at, if you want, because, you know, life doesn't stop even when you're retired, you know, and I think doing something like this, teaching would be something very fun and, and also still enjoy traveling and, and, and experience another country. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and, and even if for somebody that's young, definitely, you know, if you want to enjoy the world and, and teaching is a good way of doing it, meeting new people and, um, you know, do your research. And then, but I would definitely recommend them going through you guys, because to me, I feel very, you know, very equipped to like, uh, and to go on and, and teach the course, you know, and, and I have, you know, my, my binder, I have my information and that I could always go back to and, you know, and my profile and then even, even revisit the, some of the modules, right. That have, that I would have access to in some, even some of the classes, like I said, Oh yeah, I want to watch that class again. Right. Or mm -hmm. see that module again. So, you know, uh, have access to all that. So I think I would encourage it to anybody who wants to make a teaching career and do some traveling at the same time. Why not get the best of both worlds? <laughs> at a young awesome. age or even when you're retired. Awesome advice, Rachel. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank